Hello and welcome to your October 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings. Please like, subscribe and share. If you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, please remember, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. You take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. Now, if you want um, a personal reading, either via WhatsApp a video call or via Messenger video call or via old-fashioned Skype, <laughs> the information uh, how we can get this done is in the description box below. Now, there's a lot of other information I want to just uh, give you uh, in October before we then get into your reading, as it were. So one thing is, I am currently um, really trying to be a bit more uh, present um, when it comes to social media and online. So you have noticed that I have recorded or, or started recording, started recording um, more videos, you know, um, you know, about the retrogrades um, and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, you have the full moon and new moon readings. Um, sometimes you, there are love life, <coughs> excuse me, love life readings, all that kind of stuff. But I'm also now a an executive contributor for the Brains magazine. They handpick people for their knowledge, and so I'm really honored that they um, contacted me. And um, so I have agreed to uh, exclusively, so to speak, um, write for the Brains magazine. You can find the link to my articles and to all the other articles that are there um, in the description box below. Lastly, we have a really, really great special offer just for my viewers this month. So if you want to back yourself 10% um, off for a photo shoot, um, if you are into um, maybe wanting uh, new pictures, you also find the 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 um, information for this in the description box below. But at the end of this video, sort of to speak, after you are reading, as it were, um, there is a little ninety second segment, ninety second segment. Is that how you pronounce it? Ninety second segment <laughs> about um, photography by Kate and how you can back yourself 10% off, provided you book in November. In any case, um, please like, subscribe and share. Use all the um, <coughs> amazing things that I just mentioned. You know, um, especially I want you to look at the, the Brain magazine that I now write for. Um, it's always very interesting. It's oftentimes uh, also related to, obviously, uh, what I do, so it's about healing and it also is about astrology, all that kind of stuff. So, um, wouldn't necessarily call it same old, same old, but it builds on what I already do for a living. And since you have found that channel, you may find all this quite interesting. Without further ado, let's go into your reading for the month of October 2023. You are watching Thomas Star Readings. Please like, subscribe, and share. And here is your reading. Taurus, this is your October 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. So what we do here is we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead before we then go into your emotional core, see what needs to happen for you there or what is happening uh, there for you. Could be healing coming in, could be love coming in, that sort of stuff. Uh, before we then lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of October 2023 for the sign of Taurus. <clears throat> now, it's quite interesting. I always ask the guides to give me everything I need for the entire reading, even though I put it into sections so it is easier for you to understand. Um, you are by default multi-layered, so they still will flow into one another, if that makes sense. Um, and what you have is, for your overall energy, is to focus on what it is you want and then be pushy because it is time you claimed what is yours. Now, the energy that you have 
is the first house, which is Aries' house, which is the doer. But the, the, the um, energy here is about arriving and arrival. So what the guides are saying to you, it's time to no longer procrastinate. It's time to go for what it is you want because it is ready for you. So figure out if there's someone that deprives you of stuff that you deserve and then you have to make changes there or decisions that maybe they're no longer for you. Point is, whatever you manifested is ready for you, Taurus. It's time you went for what it is you want. I'm also getting this energy here of understanding that people, even when they're nice people and they're on your side, they oftentimes advise from their point of view. So sometimes they might not be able to see what you're capable of and, 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 and you know how changes could really affect you in a positive way. They might just be more worried about your, let's just say, your finances and so they advise you to be careful, right? And yes, you know, it's always wise to not, to not just go blindly into new things, but the energy here is about understanding you already know what you want. So don't be disheartened and don't listen to people that dishearten you. Really, really important, okay? Here we go. And then um, when it comes to your, to your emotional core, you don't have to have, you don't have to sit back there, Taurus, Taurus, and do, go into healing this month. You also are not asked to, sounds a bit wrong, make a fuss with regards to relationships. You are, you have the energy of Libra when it comes to your love life. It is it's about your love life here. And um, what you are struggling with and what you're focusing on and what you should attempt to get at all times, uh, Torians, is balance. So, it is one thing to reflect on how shitty life can, can be and how, how tough your relationship might be. Equally, if you're not in a relationship, you know, um, understand that every other person that you meet is hard work. Because I guarantee you, so are you and so am I. Right? We are all hard work in a sense that we are all individual. And you can't make people fit into your frame. So the moment you meet someone that you then connect with, when two become one, isn't that a song by the Spice Girls? I won't sing it. Okay, but you have to understand the concept. You know, you need to allow time for things to, to really work out. You know, so there has to be understanding on both sides. The point is, the energy for you is, is to focus on relationships, which means intimate relationships, either manifesting or looking at the one that you're in. And in all things, if there need to be changes that need to be made, or if there are things that need to be looked at, they have to come from a very balanced point of view. So if you are in a place where you're already annoyed, where there's already loud, loud, you know, louder volumes, you know, you're more arguments than, than, than communication, that is the first thing you need to then look at. You know, is that actually helping us? Or you, is that me, and that kind of stuff, and everywhere you want to look at it? Balance is what you need when it comes to making relationships work and manifest them, okay? Now, what I'm getting here for you, uh, Taurus, before we move on to the um, opportunities, is it's not, it doesn't feel difficult. It just feels like, you know, maybe maybe I should tweak how I, how I normally or usually approach situations. It's more like, you know, if I want balance, I also want harmony because we in, this is the, sort of the energy here, is the sign of Libra. And Libra really wants, wants harmony. Really, really important. Okay, so um, you ready for your last one <laughs> for today, which is opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of October 2023. This is your general reading for the sign of Taurus. Now, when it comes to opportunities, you have the fifth house. And obviously five is a number of change, you know. But so the point the guys are making is, yes, maybe things need to change. But before anything can change for the better, you are asked to not go for opportunities that just look good on paper. Trust your intuition. When you feel like, you know, yes, 
this could get me there and maybe I have better hours, I have better money, right? Maybe there's a move involved, all that kind of stuff. The guides are not knocking it. But you should do and go for and look for things that you're passionate about and not things that just get you somewhere, even if it means that your life could be easier tomorrow. Are you really passionate about, you know, and this is more about work here, working in areas that are just great on paper, that give you um, the, the stable stability that you need, if that makes sense, right? Because Torians, the stability is not the issue here. The issue here is that when it comes to opportunities, you have to understand that what it is you really want, what it is you really feel, will sustain you longer and better than anything that just in the moment works for you, especially financially, because that's sort of the, 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 the energy that I'm getting here, Torians. Now, Taurus, by default, you are people that like to be stable, that like to be safe, and the guides are not knocking it. All they're saying is, how much sense does it make to be well off but maybe not really happy that you have to go to a place to work, work with people that are not really your tribe kind of stuff, right? So please look at the balance that is, that is needed for all of this and go for things that you are passionate about. Okie dokie, that's all I got for you. Don't go, don't go yet. Because now I'm gonna, I told this earlier in the, in the introduction that um, I have a special offer for you. Just for my viewers, you can now back yourself a photo shoot with Photography by Kate. Um, the description box uh, has her information. Um, anyway, there is a 90, 90 second segment coming up now after this, um, where you can see uh, the pictures that she took and, and her, uh, you know, her page and all that kind of stuff. Um, and she has a special offer provided you book with her in November 2023. Anyway, here it comes. See you next month. Bye-bye. Exclusively, just for the viewers of this channel, you can back yourself a 10% off deal provided you book your photo shoot session with Photography by Kate for the month or in the month of October 2023. There is no code or anything. Just tell her you saw it on Thomas Tower readings um, and then you get your 10% off. Anyway, let's have a look at, you know, you can obviously see uh, all the pictures um, that Kate took. Um, these pictures were all taken because I want to, um, you know, I thought I would like to have some new pictures and um, they obviously have to represent who I am and so obviously I had them taken uh, at the chase amazing and look at how awesome the pictures turned out so especially for and only for the viewers of this channel there's a special offer 10% off provided you book with Kate and photography by Kate in the month of October 2023 that is a special offer just for the viewers of this very channel anyway enjoy please make sure you get in touch the information uh, for photography by kate is in the description box below have fun guys